What's up guys? Welcome back to another Fortnite video where I'm going to be showing you this week's challenges, week three. Let's get straight into it and let's see what the challenges are for this week. So you've got a harvest building resource with a pickaxe. You don't necessarily need my help to do that. That's pretty standard. Deal damage with a suppressed weapon to opponent. Search chest in John Junction. Land on different bullseyes. Follow the treasure map found in Snobby Shores. Cross by eliminations and eliminate opponents in Salty Springs. We're going to start off by following the treasure map found in Snobby Shores. So this part is a little bit trickier than week one due to the fact that in week one, the treasure map was in the same location every game. Whereas this week, they have changed up the location for every new game that you start. But for where I found it, it was right in the little hut that was next to the forbidden dance sign. Right, guys. So the treasure for the treasure map that was located in Snobby Shores is right there. Right in the bottom left hand corner of C4. C4, lol. So it's actually just east of Snobby Shores and just north of the indoor football pitch. Right in between these two trees in front of me. So now that's completed, let's move on to try and land on different bullseyes. So as you can see, this is pretty standard, guys. You see him as you jump out of the bus. You just got to land on top. Hey, bud. Thank you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how to land on the different bullseyes. But what I'll do now, guys, is I will put up all the bullseye landing locations so you guys can choose to go to the ones that you want to go to. But guys, just a quick tip for the crossbow elimination challenge. If you're finding it a little bit difficult and you feel you're not so good with the crossbow, my advice is to go into a duos. Don't do this in solos. Go into duos or a squads. If you take someone down with a regular gun and they go on their hands and knees, switch to your crossbow then, once they're on their hands and knees, and finish them off with the crossbow. That will still count as a crossbow elimination. So that's just a quick tip for you guys. And you can do that with any of the other guns. So if you get another challenge in any of your daily challenges, or say next week when the, the week four comes out and you've got a sniper challenge and you feel like you're not as strong with the sniper, you can do exactly the same thing. Take him down with a regular gun with a gun that you feel comfortable with. And then once he's on his hands and knees, finish him off with that certain gun that you need to get the elimination with. But for the other four challenges, guys, you won't need my help. They are pretty straightforward. Again, that just comes with playing the game. But other than that, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this and it was helpful. If you did, make sure to smash it with a thumbs up. Really does help the channel more than you know. And if you haven't subscribed already, guys, make sure to do so as I do daily upload video. But anyway, that's from me, guys. I do hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will catch you tomorrow for another video.